Oh, <laughs> uh, now that we got all the haters out of here. So I got this chair back at the end of November and published a video on my channel about unboxing it, putting it together, and my initial review. Little did I know that video would become what is currently my most popular video on my channel. And from that, it comes no surprise that a lot of you have questions about this chair. So from the title, you may be like, Matthew, you bought this back in November, but you're giving a one month follow-up review. That is because I got this chair two or three days before I went home for the holidays. I've been back in Austin now for about a month, so I'm giving the people what they want. One of the main things that I've noticed just from the past month is that it is squeaky. So this is a common issue that's come up in comments that I've seen from other reviews, and that is true. There have been reviews that talk about the armrests being wobbly. I have to pull really hard to get these. So if you watched my previous video assembling the chair, I was diligent in making sure the screws were super tight on this. So I think that's why I've not really had any issues with the armrest. Another popular question from people that I've seen in other reviews and the video I posted is that they were asking how tall I am. I am 5'7", and this seats me comfortably, but I did wanna let you guys know from this angle, if you take the chair all the way up, you can see my legs are a little bit elevated and they kind of angle down. Whenever I'm sitting on this chair for long periods of time, I do feel my legs start to go numb if it's at the highest height. For me, I don't have it at that high of a height. I keep it down so I can have more of a 90 degree angle with my legs here. And then from doing that, I don't have any problems. Which leads me to another point, please consider the desk that you plan on putting the chair underneath. So I just wanted to show you guys that for my desk, I can adjust the height, but for those of you who don't have an adjustable desk, just note that the armrests do arch up pretty high and you can't tuck it under the desk. From the ground, the height of the armrest is about 28 and a half inches. So for a more standard desk, this might not be something that works well for you. If you can't tuck it under the desk, I'm not sure if that's a deal breaker, but just putting that out there. Nothing with the material has deteriorated at all, which is super impressive. I've been really happy with how it looks visually. It's all been perfectly fine. Like I've not had any wear, tear, nothing. But one thing I did want to point out was a comment I got from another person on my other video was that the back hurt them because of like a metal frame or something. I wanted to show you guys that this chair, I think they've kind of upped the design. They've improved it because I can literally push through. Like there's nothing here. <laughs> it's just foam padding. So I'm not sure what that person was referring to, but my chair doesn't have metal in the backing, so I don't get pain in my back from using this chair. And one of the last things I wanted to show you guys was just that for me, I noticed this because I kind of push and pull the chair from the back whenever I'm tucking it in or pulling it out from under the desk. It does move a little bit. And so I think it's just because these screws right here are not tight enough. So if you're assembling the chair, make sure that these screws are tight enough so you don't get this little bit of movement in the chair itself. So now to the important question, would I recommend this chair? Yes, I still recommend this chair. The main con for me is just the squeakiness. I really don't have any other complaints about it right now. I appreciate my subscribers. If you watch this video just to see me and say hello, please say hello down in the comments below. And if any of you have gotten this chair, let me know of some issues that you've had with it. That way other people can know as well if they're reading through the comments. So let's help one another out here. I think for the price point, this is an excellent chair that will last a long time. And for the burning question inside many of you, yes, I am filming this on the same day as my drone video, so that is why I am in the same clothing. Anyways, thank you for checking this video out. I never thought a chair video would be my top video on my channel right now. That's kind of, I'm still kind of shook about that. Please like this video if you thought it was helpful, it supports my channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. And if you didn't check out my last video on this chair, it's over here. Thank you all for the love and support. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Ah, oh, this vibrator sure hits the spot though. <laughs>